Hey everyone, time to round out the month of November with one last regular review, the 1948 movie They Live By Night, starring Farley Granger and Kathy O'Donnell. Now to start with, we follow three recently escaped convicts, Bowie, as played by Farley Granger, Chickamaw, as played by Howard De Silva, and T-Dub, as played by J.C. Flippin. Now they arrive at the home of Chickamaw's drunk brother and his daughter, Kichi, as played by Kathy O'Donnell, where they make plans to rob a bank. Now the robbery goes off without a hitch, and they all split the money. Both Bowie and Chickamaw buy themselves cars, but uh, Bowie ends up in a car crash. Chickamaw had been following him and tried to get him into his car, but the policeman at the crash insists that they should come with him. So Chickamaw ends up shooting him with Bowie's gun. Since Bowie was badly injured in the crash, Chickamaw leaves him at his brother's. Since Bowie and Kichi were developing feelings for each other, when Bowie is feeling well enough, they run off together and get married and try to keep hidden. Now, depending upon how you want to look at it, this may or may not qualify as a Christmas movie. Part of the movie takes place at Christmas time. Now, that section starts out happy, only for things to go downhill with Bowie being recruited, against his will, by Chickamon T-Dub to rob another place. This time, the results are not as good as before. Again, this is a relatively brief part of the movie, maybe 10 minutes, something like that. But uh, unless you consider movies with any type of moments taking place at uh, Christmas time to fit the holiday, I really don't think this one should be counted. But of course, that is just my opinion. But there are many important points on this movie. Apparently, it was the first film directed by Nicholas Ray, who would be best known for directing the classic Rebel Without a Cause. The opening scene, apparently the first scene that uh, he ever directed, was the first action scene shot by a helicopter. Now, this is uh, one of several movies that apparently preceded the classic Bonnie and Clyde that was about an outlaw of a couple on the run. The movie itself ended up being delayed by Howard Hughes, as he had recently purchased RKO Studios, who made the movie. It was released in the theaters when Farley Granger and Kathy O'Donnell were paired together paired together again for the movie Side Street for Rival Studio. And apparently Howard Hughes decided to try and beat that movie's release. This one was based on the novel Thieves Like Us by Edward Anderson. And one can certainly see the thaw of that title throughout the movie with various characters being compared to being thieves or, or similar or to whatever, or you get the idea. But this movie is one that I enjoyed and I would recommend it for those who enjoy film noir. The movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Criterion Collection. It is about 1 hour and 36 minutes in length. Thanks for listening, everybody. Keep tuning in.